from a bull with horns longer than NBA players are tall to the Adam and Eve of the bull world, plus some other huge beasts. Here are 10 of the biggest bulls in the world. Number 10, the whiskey drinking bull. There are more than 250 recognized breeds of cattle throughout the world, but today we talk about the ones of considerable size that really made an impression. Starting off our list of the biggest bulls in the world is the whiskey drinking bull from India. He's reportedly the biggest and most valuable in the entire country. What kind of bull is he? The bull is a Murrah bull named Sultan and he stands 5 feet and 11 inches tall and weighs 3300 pounds, over double the typical weight of your average Murrah bull. According to his owners, he eats 33 pounds of apples, 44 pounds of carrots, 22 pounds of grains and 22 pounds of green leaves every single day. That's a lot of food for one bull. His owners also take care of him like he's royalty, taking him for walks and giving him a bath at least twice a day. But why is this bull so valuable? The answer is because his love juice is sold to almost every state in India, with a single dose being sold for around $5. In a single year, Sultan's owners made over $120,000 on selling the bull's sperm. His owner claims Sultan is worth two and a half million dollars. But most surprising of all is that Sultan apparently has a taste for whiskey. He's allowed to have a single drink of his favorite whiskey every single night. This bull lives a better life than most people. Number nine, Albert the bull. Albert is in fact the largest bull on the face of the earth. He's been around for a long time, since 1964. This bull is 28 feet tall and has a 15 foot span between his horns. Of course, the bull isn't technically alive, but is still the biggest in the world and deserves a place on this list. I had you, didn't I? Roughly 20,000 visitors come to check out Albert every year. The massive bull was actually built as a replica of a Hereford bull, but he's nine times larger than the real deal. He's located in Western Iowa and is one of the best roadside attractions in the USA. The cow weighs 45 tons and most of him is solid concrete. He won't be making babies anytime soon, but he is kind of famous, even being a question on an episode of Jeopardy. Albert was named after Albert Cruz, who was a past president of the local bank and responsible for launching an annual local beef promotion named Operation T-Bone. Don't get that confused with Operation Pork Chop, a local pork industry drive that lacks the vision to build a massive talking pig statue to promote itself. The only thing that's changed about Albert in the last 50 years is that he was repainted to have brown eyes instead of the original blue eyes he was first created with, as farmers were complaining that cows don't actually have blue eyes. Hey, real fast. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. Number eight, Britain's biggest bull. The largest bull in Britain is a bulky Barnsford and he is an absolute beast. This bull is so massive that 45,000 Big Mac burgers could be made from his meat. According to a report from the mirror, he stands seven feet tall and has roughly the same weight as an adult hippopotamus. Whoa, he tips the scales at a ridiculous 4,400 pounds. That's over twice the size of an average bull in Britain. But despite Bulky Barnesford's monstrous appearance, his owner, a farmer from Stockport, claims that this hulk is actually a very gentle soul. He apparently likes nothing more than to be pampered and surrounded by a field full of lady cows. He's fathered at least 50 calves on the farm where he lives and 100 more through artificial insemination. Oh yeah, and it took only a year for Bulky to have that many children. He is truly the definition of a stud. But what you might be surprised to know is that Bulky does not get any special treatment when it comes to food. He has all the grass he can eat out in his fields, and once a day he gets around 15 pounds of concentrate. But it's the same diet as all the other bulls. He just so happens to be ridiculously huge, and it seems like he's still growing. Number 7. The Longest Horns They say everything is bigger in Texas, and there is definitely some truth to that. For example, take the bull named Cowboy Tough Chex, who has the longest horns ever recorded on a Texas Longhorn Bull. This bull might not be the largest overall in terms of his body, but his horns are pretty much biblical in their size. From tip to tip, the horns on this bull are 101 inches, or just about eight and a half feet. To give you a quick comparison, that's longer than any basketball player is tall in the NBA. According to the report from Newsweek, Chex was originally from Oklahoma, and he sold recently for $165,000 to a breeding facility in Texas. Even though he's not abnormally large, the record length of his horns will make him an extremely desirable bull for breeders all across the country. That steep price tag will probably be paid off within just a few years by selling the bull's services for making little, or I guess big, longhorn babies. 
Number 6. Kianina Bull Remember at the beginning when I said there are more than 250 recognized breeds of cattle? A lot of people don't realize that there are that many different breeds of cow, just as there are as many different breeds of horse. Not all cows are created equally though. Some are hairy, some are tall, and some are far larger than others. The largest breed of cow in the world is the Kianina. The average Kianina cow weighs roughly 2,222 pounds, while a bull can weigh up to 2,800 pounds. What's really unique about the Kianina cows, beside the hefty stature, is that they are porcelain white. These are the whitest cows you will ever find. And yes, they think mayonnaise is too spicy. But aside from just being extremely pale, Kianina cows are also super buff. You might notice that a lot of the largest bulls in the world are indeed from this specific breed, and you'll also notice a similarity in that they all have extremely well-defined muscles. Most Kianina bulls could probably outbox Mike Tyson. In Roman times of 300 to 200 BC, the breed was used mainly for draft and sacrificial purposes. With the coming into the Middle Ages, the times of Christianity, it became more practical. The medieval peasants simply could not afford to keep an animal that didn't work well, and those animals that could not conform were slaughtered. This practice may have been one of the first, albeit rustic, breeding programs. The legacy of this breeding program is consistent with the breed, their distinctively developed legs and hard hooves, and their endurance qualities and docility. Number 5. The World's Shortest Bull We're going to take a slight detour real quick, because we couldn't talk about the biggest and heftiest bulls in the world without at least mentioning Humphrey, the shortest bull ever to live. This is obviously the complete opposite, but just look at Humphrey, he's ridiculously adorable. Bulls are obviously supposed to be huge and heavy, but something happened that made Humphrey really small. He's basically pocket-sized. This bull only stands 26.6 inches high, barely above the average person's knees. Humphrey was even featured in the 2020 Guinness World Records as one of the star entries. Humphrey is the type of cow breed known as a miniature zebu, so it's not totally surprising that he's tiny. His parents only stood 35.5 inches and 32.25 inches. And even though Humphrey is so small, he still has a normal life for a bull. He hangs out on the farm, the other animals seem okay with him, and the dogs on the farm treat him just like one of their own. Don't you want one? Number 4. The Adam and Adam of Bulls Here's a revelation that might be surprising. A geneticist from Pennsylvania State University who specializes in studying dairy cows has recently unveiled that almost all the dairy cows in the United States have descended through the years from just two giant bulls. It's unclear exactly just how big these bulls were, but it's safe to say that they must have been massive for all the other cows in the country to be traced back to them. According to the researchers from Penn State, there were two huge bulls born around the 1950s named Round Oak Rag Apple Elevation and Pawnee Farm Arlinda Chief. And yes, those are completely preposterous names for bulls. But they must have been the most impressive specimens at the time, because almost every dairy cow in the United States can be linked back to one of them. This isn't detrimental to society or anything, it's just kind of fascinating. Number 3. Knickers the Cow Knickers the Cow is a colossal animal. In fact, this Australian cow is so large that he was unable to be slaughtered. He's not technically a bull, seeing how he's been neutered. That makes him a steer, but he is still a giant male bovine that stands about 6 feet and 4 inches tall. He's only slightly shorter than the bull who holds the world record in Italy. However, Knickers is believed to be the biggest steer in all of Australia. But to really understand how much larger he is than the other cows, you really have to look at him in the field. It's like the opposite of trying to find Waldo. He towers above the other cows and sticks out like a sore thumb. And while most people probably don't care about a giant cow, the world seems to go crazy over Knickers. There have been reports from the BBC, CNN, USA Today, and pretty much every other newspaper on Earth. He's famous! And of course, with so much attention came the conspiracy theories. People were screaming about hormones, unnatural gene editing, the end of mankind, and all brands of other craziness. But according to the owner of the cow, it's really just a random act of nature that made knickers so big. Number 2. Daniel the Bovine Daniel is a giant bovine, and one of the tallest cows in the world. He is a typical Holstein cow, black and white just like you'd expect. Only, he stands almost 6.5 feet tall and weighs over 2,300 pounds. That's a seriously hefty beast. Daniel the bovine eats around 100 pounds of hay and 15 pounds of grain every day. He also drinks roughly 100 gallons of water and produces 150 pounds of cow poop, the latter of which is pretty gross. Daniel lives in California and according to his owner was noticeably large at about 6 months old while he was still being bottle fed. 
By the end of six months, Daniel was so large that it was hard to feed him with the bottle. As of the time of this story, Daniel has been measured for Guinness World Records and the owners were eagerly awaiting the results. If you're curious as to which cow owned the previous record for being the tallest in the world, it was Blossom. Blossom the cow stood at 6 feet and 2 inches tall but unfortunately died in May of 2015. Number 1. Donetto the Chianina Bull It's time to meet the largest bull in history. His name was Donetto and he was exhibited at the Arezzo Show in Italy back in 1955. He was also a monster of a bull. Sources put his weight at between 3,840 and 3,920 pounds. That's a lot, even for a Chianina bull. There have been some pretty hefty bulls since then that have come close, but nobody has broken this record. Unfortunately, because Donetto came from the 50s in Italy, there are not a lot of official documents citing who bred the bull, what happened to him after he was presented, or if he fathered any oversized children. We can only assume that he was cooked into 10,000 delicious Italian meatballs. Thanks for watching. What did you think of the world's biggest bulls? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.